when I think of Clyde Sanger, uh, the words that come to my mind are um, a gentleman, a scholar, a journalist and author, um, a Riley amusing a companion, and deeply committed to social justice. He, for a long time, was a Canadian correspondent for The Economist magazine that I think recognized his, his uh, superior qualities as a, as a journalist. Clyde had a, a soft voice which uh, concealed his strong opinions on social justice. Uh, it, actually, he was the first person to teach me about the relationship between disarmament and development, which in essence means spending less money on arms and more on development to get a safer world. And uh, that uh, key idea for peace is uh, as relevant today as when he taught it to me so many years ago. Clyde and I were friends for uh, more than 50 years. And uh, actually in 1976, uh, Clyde and Bernie Wood accompanied me on my first trip to China, which at that time was just opening up to the world. And we traveled around the country for three weeks. And uh, Clyde's uh, probing of the leaders that we met um, was uh, deep and studious. And I have uh, uh, great recollections of him scrambling through fields and paddy, paddy fields to uh, get that perfect shot. Uh, Clyde was a determined, a determined journalist. He was, um, he, he was a marvelous uh, traveling companion and a companion at, at home. Um, his uh, writing style was graceful and uh, with deep insights, he was able to adroitly express uh, his own longing uh, for a better world. Clyde was, Clyde was a credit to journalism and uh, a, a, def a relentless defender of uh, human development, the proper form of human development, which he displayed through his great connections with the Canadian International Development Agency and the uh, International uh, Research Center. Uh, Clyde was Clyde was a beautiful man, uh, a, a, a marvelous person, and I miss him dearly.